I'm Cookie, and this is Fibbage, the game that Thomas Jefferson once called the great game of the future. True story. Three players. That's technically a crowd, so please, no riots. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Time to pick a category. It's not hard. You know what, we'll just stick with this one. Okay, here's your first question. The 1973 thriller, The Day of the Dolphin, had the memorable tagline, unwittingly, he trained a dolphin to blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth on your device now. Okay, let's take a look. Now, I believe the climax of the movie has a Secret Service agent jumping slow-mo in front of the president to take a dorsal fin in the chest. Powerful. And the rest of the board goes unselected. All right, take a category. syndrome is a rare psychiatric disorder in which sufferers think that they are blank. Write your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? Everyone's a winner. Symptoms include trying to walk through walls and making pottery with their girlfriends. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In 1990, the Prime Minister of New Zealand appointed a man named Ian Brackenberry Channel to the very odd position of New Zealand's official blank. Enter your lies now. If you can't 
think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody picked. Well, don't you feel foolish. He humbly requests you go to his LinkedIn page and endorse him for wand skills. And that means this lie didn't get picked. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Oddly enough, the number one single on the UK's top 100 list in January of 2001 was blank. Input your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Who picked what? <laughs> and that means... Category. Okay, here's the question. A kind of creepy exhibit at Coney Island's Luna Park, which opened in 1903, put blank on display. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. What's even more impressive about the exhibit is that some of them were also pretty good tiny sword swallowers. And that's it. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. 
If you weren't already excited about attending hockey games at the University of Nebraska Omaha, they announced in 2015 that they will be using a revolutionary cannon that shoots blank into the crowd. Enter your lies now. the truth. Ah! All right, let's see what everybody picked. And let's put this last one out of its misery. You have arrived at the final fibbage. Everything rides on this one, final question, and it's worth triple. Anybody can win it. Here's your final fibbage question. The name of the real whale that inspired Herman Melville to write Moby Dick. Input your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. And just one lie goes unpicked. Cookie Masterson, and welcome to the game Jeepers 189 said was, quote, pretty fun, or whatever. I see we have three. Nobody leave or this will get sad. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a helper, the defibrillator. It eliminates all but one lie. Only one use per game, so use it wisely. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. The Sega Genesis game Moonwalker has you play as Michael Jackson, and your mission is to save blank. Write your lies now. If you 
can't think of something. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Who picked a watch? <laughs> and the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. A strange Japanese cookbook published in 2014 entirely features recipes made with blank. Okay, where's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Look what we have here. It contains meals like condom escargot and condom cookies. I have to say, I've tried a couple of the recipes and they taste a little rubbery. And nobody fell for this one. Pick a category. Time for another important celebrity quote. Celebrity quotes of great importance. I love the smell of blank. I even like when they're wet and you smell them all warm like baked goods. Sarah Jessica Parker keeping it real. Input your lies now. Hurry, hit the lie for me, buddy, if you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> All right, let's see what everybody picked. And we're done. <laughs> now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And don't let that defibrillator sit unused. It disappears after round two. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A new security system installed by fast food chain Subway hopes to thwart theft by a mechanism that sprays robbers with blank. 
Type in your lies now. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Cops can identify the robber by running a black light over them. Currently, every hotel bedspread in the country is a suspect in the theft of a six-inch black forest ham on honey oat. And look at what we have left. One single lonely pitiful lie. Select the category. No, 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 that's okay, I've got it. Okay, here's the question. In 2013, a woman in the UK was fined for blank her court-ordered ankle monitor. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> All right, who picked what? And we'll just leave this last lie to die. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A 104-year-old Fort Worth, Texas woman made news when she attributed her longevity to blank three times a day. Enter your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Let's see what everybody selected. And we're done.
Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. The name of U.S. President Calvin Coolidge's pet raccoon. Input your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Here's something you might be interested in. And just one lie goes unpicked. Song, check. Schmitty, check. Players? <laughs> oh, good. I'm just relieved that Mackenzie isn't playing after that stunt she pulled last week. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> this is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it.
Okay, here we go. The first prompt is, sometimes after a long day, you just need to blank. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next up, the dumbest person in the history of all time. And next, on your wedding night, it would be horrible to find out that the person you married is blank. It's voting time. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> Round two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, a trick you'd like to see a poodle do. Coming up next, the title of a podcast you would never ever listen to. Next in line, a rejected crayon color. Time to vote. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. And now round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. The prompt is... Invent a holiday that you think everyone would enjoy.
here's what you did. Vote now. You get three votes this round to spread out any way you like, or give them all to one answer. That's all. Now for the final scores. Schmitty. That's spelled S C H Mitty. <laughs> hey, great job with those names. Hi, Larius. We are starting things off right. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winners' bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, here we go. Our first prompt is a name for a really scary swamp, blank swamp. 
Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Okay, next one. The worst name for a funeral home. Vote on your devices. And next, a weird thing for a preacher to say to end every sermon. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Let's start this show. First up, the most stereotypical country song title. Okay, pick your favorite. Coming up next, the name of the music playlist that will definitely put an end to the party. It's voting time. Next one, what tattoo should Justin Bieber get next? Time to vote. And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Your prompt is... Everyone knows there's no such thing as blank.
now you get three votes this round to spread out any way you like or give them all to one answer. That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Hee-haw! <laughs> 